here today with uh, God Tear, God Tear even. It's Sky Tear, God Tear. I have uh, what looks like just both the starter boxes. However, inside these boxes is everything God Tear so far. I really love this skirmish game for two players. Um, uh, so I'll just show you inside the boxes so you see what a mess I have, and this is going to be quite an interesting one to uh, to to unbox or to info box because oh yes, because I have got like everything in here. So how should we do this? Let's just take everything out of this one, and then we'll go through all the figures in the other one. I think I've got everything needed for kind of one uh, one kind of. Uh, battle in each box. So, for those who don't know, God Tier is a skirmish game for two players, uh, dice-based, Not uh, you don't have a deck or anything like that, and this is obviously not how the boxes come. The base games come with um, two champions and their minions, uh, and you can play a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but really, to get the full experience, you need three champions and their minions um, to get the full kind of three on three as it's designed to be played. So the map is uh, very quite big. It's a six um, God eater. <laughs> yeah, well, there's too many tears and tears at the minute. That's for sure. Okay, so the box, the the board is fairly big. It's a six fold board, hex based. And you have this this kind of uh, track down here, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, and uh, just checking out all the tokens, I might need to grab some out of the other box. These little uh, things are called the well, they're like the God Tear Tier Squares, and they'll be on the map at some in some configuration, depending on what type of game you're playing. You can play life, death. Uh, all sorts of variations. But what you're trying to do is one of the ways you score points, apart from just killing the opponent, the opposing teams, is by getting your banners out onto these uh, god tier hexes, uh, and that will get you points. Now, the other interesting thing about the map is we run a tug of war system through each battle. Uh, so you would choose a colour, and then let me just get the full uh, thing on display. Oh, that sounds cheeky. The full, hold it up like that and do it this way around. So, you've got the full map out. Let's say the red player's there and the blue player's there, and the red player's going first. And you have these um, five tokens here, which are double-sided. Um, I've got the green. So, they have the round number on the front. So, the most you're ever going to play is five rounds. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So in the first round, the first player will have it starting on their side. Then every time you do a certain action, you're going to get uh, to pull this tug of war piece closer to your end. And at the end of a round, you, the person who has it nearer their end will win that, flip it over and get those points. So the number one is worth one point, the number two is worth two points, number three is worth three points, number four is worth two points, caught you out there, didn't I? And the number five is worth one point. So the game ends either at the end of the fifth round or when one player has five points. So throughout the round, if you knock out an enemy champion, you'll get four, so go four that way. If you knock out a small follower, you get one, a large follower, two. If you make a claim during the plot phase, which a claim is to put out your banner on one of these hexes, one of these god tier hexes, then that will get you one point. And if at the end phase of a whole round you still have one of your banners out, that's going to get you four points. Now, added to this is the fact that each set of different colours of champions, so we have red, blue, I don't know why I say red when I put yellow on there, yellow, blue, red, and uh, I have to get the right one here, this guy, green. So, uh, the, I need to get the right bonuses as well, excuse me, I'll just check the right bonuses. So, uh, red guys, they get a bonus point on the tug of war if they knock out another um, champion. So if they knock out a champion, they get five instead of four. 
The uh, green guys get a bonus point for making a claim during the action phase. Let me just... That better. I'll tell you what, get something plain behind it. So, no, that's not helping. Just reflecting everything. There we go. Um, <laughs> why aren't these painted? Ha! Yeah, because you won't do it for me. You need to come up to Scarborough Luke and paint these for me. The uh, blue guys get an extra point for having a flag on the hex at the end phase. And the yellow guys, this is uh, Grimgut here, uh, or Luke Pryor as I like to call it, <laughs> get an extra point for taking out enemy followers. So, um, so that's how a round will work. You'll do all these actions, you'll get, get these discs going backwards and forwards between you and then you'll resolve the end phase, add on the extra points, and then whoever wins that will take the points. And remember, you only need to get to five to win. Then there is something to do for the loser. The loser could choose who goes first or second, and then they will have a scenario-specific action. Sometimes it's the winner, sometimes it's the loser. They'll take one of the battle dice uh, in life. So in a life situation, they'll take one of the battle dice, they'll roll it, and they'll add two more of the God tier tokens plus whatever they roll on the dice. And the dice are very simply uh, two blanks, one, two, three successes on the other side, and a double success on one side. Uh, this game is on Tabletopia to try out, by the way, if you want to have a look at it. Other tokens you get are your damage tokens. This box does not come with it. This is my own box that I've stored the tokens in. So as you take champion takes damage, genuinely, genuinely, uh, generally followers have um, have uh, one health point, but there's some differences. Um, and then we have these, which are kind of boon and be uh, they boon and bane, I think, tokens. Blight, boon and blight tokens. So, uh, for example, this one will give someone an extra dodge stat, um, or on the back it's a negative dodge stat. They don't stack, so you can never have two of the same, and if you had a positive one and then got the negative one, you just remove them. We'll have a look at some cards in a minute. So I've been talking about the followers for each of these guys. Let's get some of these uh, followers out and show you the different examples. At the moment, there's only one large follower. There's this guy, and he has his large follower, only one, and this guy has his own health. And this is very interesting, because the main guy can't attack, and this guy can't move. So you need to use this guy to move this guy to then attack. So it's very... Uh, very interesting way of doing things. I've also got a little tool thing from Wilkinson's here. Uh, so I told you about the um, the flags that people put out, the banners, and you can always tell the banners because they've got kind of textured bit on the bases. Uh, so there's one, there's another one, and then you've got uh, different types of followers in here. Uh, this is a very handy little uh, box to hold everything in. So uh, I don't think we've got any that belong to these guys. Do they belong to him? Oh yeah, these these guys belong to um, to this fella here. And followers are great because you can have up to three in a space. Um, so you can kind of team them up. And if you have more in one space, one hex, you will get dice bonuses uh, depending on the follower type and all that. So we've shown you the tokens, we've shown you some of the followers and the uh, champions. Uh, and what I'm going to do actually is put some videos on YouTube looking at each of the different colours and how their champions work. Um, then I also managed to pick up, these are the hardest things to get, I don't think we've got them on Zatu, some black faces and some white faces. They're not necessary but they do help unless you're a painter like, uh, like Luke. Um, we need the cards here. And the mats. Where are they? So for each champion, you'll have one of these mats. Um, and champions have a different amount of followers, uh, depending on what type they are. So you might have one group of followers, two groups of followers. And onto these mats, you'll put your um, champion's main card. Let's find... Uh, there he is. So you have three different cards for each um, each person, each champion. You have the champion's uh, main uh, one-off power. So basically, you have this one-off. It's not going to go. 
Let me just nudge the camera settings so it goes into uh, focus, hopefully. Uh, there we go. So Grimgut has this uh, buffet move. Woo! And when you've used it, you flip it over so it's not on there anymore. So that goes there. And then um, the minions go on this side. This is the size of minions. It tells you how many minions he has. Uh, he has six retchlings. And then the cards are double-sided. You have the white side and the black side. The white side is for the plot phase. What happens in the plot phase is you move uh, all your characters and take one other action. So you can take two actions with each of your uh, champions and with your followers. And you do all your team all at once. So you do all six potential different groups, and then the opponent does it. And this really plot phase is generally the setup phase, unless you have a character like Sneaky Pete, who's one of the only characters with his minions who can uh, actually attack during the plot phase. So he's a really good character, quite weak, not much health, but in the plot phase, he is what the only one I've seen that can attack. And I think I've played them all. So we know this is a yellow character, he's going to be effective at taking out en enemy minions, he's going to get more points. So we're going to kind of push towards that, set, set up, move towards the enemy minions basically. Then uh, after we've done that we have different powers depending if we're on the plot phase or the clash phase. And the way we track uh, which characters we've moved is as soon as we've done our two actions with Grimgut, we flip him over and now he's on the other side, he has different moves. He will likely have attacks now, where he didn't have attacks in the first place. This category here has no uh, numbers, so he has no attacks there. Um, and where is it? There. And uh, so this, the plot phase is all about setting up for the clash phase. See these numbers here? Sometimes they change on the movement and the dodge. But you have movement, so how many hexes you can move. You have dodge. And that is the number that people need to equal or beat through rolling these dice to hit you. Now, hitting you doesn't necessarily damage you. It's just the number that they need to beat before they can, uh, can hit you. Some moves will have a hit effect. So if they hit you, they might not do any damage, but they might do something else like adding a blight or a boom. Then we have his defense, and that's what needs to be beaten to take damage. So any uh, hits over that will will do damage to Grimgut, to the total. Uh, so if you roll four, he's gonna take two damage. And then his overall health. So that's kind of how those stats work. And like I say, they might change a little bit on the way, on the, on the other side, and they can be boomed or blighted through uh, other means. So then you'll get through the plot play phase and you'll go to the clash phase where you just take turns activating either a champion or a group of followers at one time and then the other person goes then you go so it goes more to a back and forth really really enjoy um god tier it's uh, a, a skirmish game i like i really like shade spire underworlds uh, from warhammer but i found that deck building was just a bit too much for me here you just grab three champions their required minions and their three cards and you're good to go uh, I really like that there's a dodge mechanic um, and some hit effects uh, that can be... You might want to attack someone and, and you don't care if you do damage to them or not. Like I say, I've got <laughs> all the characters so far. Uh, I think there's 15 champions and their associated minions. And what I'm going to do is go on YouTube, do, make some videos for YouTube to uh, just talk through each different colour how how they work and their champions. Um, so I'll make a red champions video, a yellow champions, green champions, and go through them all like that for you. That is a uh, not that quickish <laughs> info boxing of God tier. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Do check out our YouTube channel for more and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.